is now part three of my epic match with Ellie Slama. If you didn't watch parts one or two, Ellie is one of the top amateur golfers in the country. She's absolutely unbelievable. And I'm wearing all my beaver gear just for her because Ellie is also a collegiate golfer at Oregon State University. Now, this is part three. So we've already played 12 holes. We've got six holes to go. Currently, Ellie is six, six up on me. Six up, Ellie? Six up? Yeah, Ellie is five six. up on me. And we're gonna see if I can narrow this margin or if she's just gonna continue to pull away with six holes to play. Ellie is five up. We're gonna pick up the action on hole 13. Here we go. 165 yard par three. Pretty straightforward, bunker right, bunker left. Slightly uphill. Ellie, what you going with? I have my four iron out. Four iron. It's a little bit chilly. It's cold and it has, yeah, it has not been carrying today. That is so good. Get up. Yeah, right side of the green, front right. Excellent shot. Hole number 14, 531 yard par five. Pretty big dog, right? Um, you know, really narrow target um, to land this. Because the tendency is you want to go straight, but then that's going to give you a really tough look on your second shot. If you go left, you lengthen out the hole, but you give yourself a view. Here we go. Just striping it. That's so good. That's so short. Well, another... it almost plugged. I mean, right. we're just no rollout. Last time we're gonna break away from our action. Hopefully you've been watching all three videos at this point. Ellie, you are, you've got one more year at Oregon State, right? Yeah. One more year? Fifth year. Uh, you have won the Oregon Amateur mm -hmm. twice. Yep. Twice. You've competed at the USAM, finished tied ninth. You have done very well at the collegiate division one level with a couple of wins under your belt. Um, most people would logically think the next move has got to be she's going to make a run at professional golf, right? What do you see in your future? What do you think? 
Well, COVID's kind of been a little bit of a interesting year, obviously for all of us, but um, I was never planning on staying for five years. Never, mm -hmm. never thought I'd get a master's in business, which is what I'm going to do now. Awesome. Um, polar opposite from what I'm learning about now, which is kinesiology. So that'll be really interesting. It'll be really fun. I'm excited to stick around for another year. Then my goal is to go to physical therapy school, which is three years. Um, so that's a big chunk of my next, you know, few wow. years. Yeah. So it's a possibility in my future. I think yeah. maybe, um, if I'm playing really good golf at the end of next year, that I'll take a, a little gap and before I go to PT school, PT school yeah. maybe try and go pro, but you never know. It, it'll yeah. all depend on how I'm playing and how hard so I want to practice. it's a big giant we'll see. Yep. It is a big we'll see. Big giant we'll see. But it sounds to me at this point, it's not like this burning huge desire. Is that fair? I mean, I'm putting you on the spot. Yeah. Here. I mean, I've never really played golf to go pro. I've played golf because I enjoy it enjoy and golf. it's fun. Yeah. And yeah, I meet a lot of great people, but yeah. yeah. So we'll see. That's awesome. <laughs> okay. 360 yard. Yeah. They feel like they're playing a mile this year or today. 360 yard par four. Gentle dog left once. I, we, have we had a straight hole yet today? Not really. All right, here we go. Par four, Ellie's remain six up. Oh, shot that off to the right just a bit. Ooh. Yeah, a little bit of tree. You'll be all right. This is some hole, 510 yards. Uh, big dog left and it goes way uphill to the left. Huge water feature over here that attracts a lot of balls. So you gotta play this out, well, actually lengthen out the hole, play it out to the right. And then you're gonna have just a, a massive approach in. Challenging, challenging hole, but a beautiful and really fun hole, I think. Uh, I have the tee. Well, after winning that last hole, so, for those of you thinking out loud to yourself, wait a minute, why are they even still playing? Ellie closed me out like three holes ago, but she's currently five up. So, but we're going to just take this all the way home and see how it ends up. Slipped a little bit, that'll work. Yeah, yeah slipped just in here. One time, one time. Yeah, my head. Oh, I get it. It turns into just it's the fun sometimes. Just it's, 
not there. Particular. Oh. I mean, it's it's. That's what I get for having a conversation while putting. It's a lot of. gonna be fine it's gonna be fine okay 160 yard par 3 hole 17 now remember uh, this match was over a long time ago Ellie is actually because I beat her on uh, 14 is moved to no I'm sorry I beat her on 15 she's moved to five up with two holes to go I know the match is over but we're gonna play it out through 18 and see where we finish up uh, none of us hit good tee shots here. <laughs> uh. Okay, 360 yard par four, 18. Ellie is, with that par on 17 is eight, uh, six up on this last hole. And yeah, here we go. All uphill on the last half of this. Oh, Ellie, is that the best of the day right there? Maybe. That's really good. Oh, I tried to hit one hard to finish the day. That is such crap. I am. Oh, I'm in the green side bunker on the right, I think. Pick it up. That's a good par. Hey everybody. Well, that concludes the third part of this three-part series with Ellie Slama in our match today. We played the whole, whole 18 holes, so even though she finished off the match earlier in the round, we fin uh, played the whole 18 holes. She ended up winning, I think, by six holes. I think six up is what it finished. It might have been seven up. I'm not going to lie. I didn't play very well. I didn't have my best game. She didn't have her best game either. Uh, but I'm really pleased that I was even <laughs> within seven holes on an 18-hole match. I, I just want to thank Ellie so much uh, for playing. Uh, thank you to Illy Hills Country Club. We had a wonderful day there. Uh, but thank you, Ellie. That was a ton of fun. Everybody, if you enjoyed watching that and you enjoyed Ellie's game, you make sure you smash like and comment below what you think of Ellie's game. She didn't have her best stuff today, but you can tell she is a major, major player with a lot of game. And uh, we'll see what the future holds, if it holds professional golf or doesn't hold professional golf. And we'll see what she does in her final year at Oregon State. And uh, with her amateur status, I'm sure she'll compete in the Augusta uh, National Amateur and then the U.S. Amateur as well. So it'll be fun to watch her progress. If you haven't followed her, I'm going to put her link in the comments of each one of these videos, or excuse me, in the description. I'm going to put a link to her Instagram. Make sure you go and follow her and support her all the way. Thank you again, Ellie. I had a blast. I hope you had a good time. And more importantly, for all you viewers, I hope you enjoyed watching that. If you didn't watch uh, video one and video two, make sure you do that. We just had a bunch of fun today. So anyways, thanks everybody. Hope you enjoyed those three videos.